Hello everyone, welcome back to Squishy Exclusive. Let's give this squishy a makeover. This is another squishy that I've rescued from Mini Squishy Exclusive. Started and sadly abandoned. As you can see, it started out as some sort of pink rabbit's head biscuit with a white base coat and a chocolate layer added. So I'm going to carry on with this and add another chocolate layer of my own. The good thing about brown tulip fabric paint is it is very chocolatey. So you can just add it straight from the tube. I'm just going to pile it on thick and then use a lolly stick to try and smooth it down as much as possible. You can see there how shiny it is. It just looks really good already. So we'll just wait for that to dry and you can see I filled in the gaps as well and it looks really nice, still really squishable. So we've got our two chocolate biscuits. What is going to go in the middle for the filling? Well, I've decided to go nice and simple for this one. I've picked out some colours that I like and I'm adding a nice thick line of icing to the middle filling. I've not made a plan of which colours are going where, I'm just adding them on, seeing how they look and trying to space them out nicely. There's no need to worry about the edges just yet because I'm going to sort that out later. They're not perfect straight lines but then again if you're buying a dessert or a filled biscuit it's not going to be perfect is it? I think we'll just say it gives it a bit of personality. Anyway, the colours are turning out really nicely. Um, we'll just have to see how they look when they dry because they can look slightly different when they dry, usually a bit darker. I'm concentrating on one side at a time, as you can see, um, just to avoid smudging. But it does look like I'm nearly done with this side, so we need to leave this to dry and then make a start on all the other sides because you don't want to risk smudging that and ruining it. And here we are, all four sides have been done and left to dry. It still looks unfinished. What we need is some icing to go around all the edges, which has the added bonus of hiding any of the raggedy edges from the um, coloured icing. So I'm going in with the chocolate paint, making nice little blobs all the way around. There I was just testing out a drip and it didn't look good. I decided to just keep it as neat as possible all the way around. As it's completely dry, it's easy just to wipe off the wet paint with a paper towel. Again, you can see I'm just going along each edge one at a time leave to dry, then do the next side to avoid the risk of smudging. And it's time to see what the finished squishy looks like. It looks amazing, really shiny, colourful. I did consider putting extra decoration on the chocolate biscuits, but in the end, it, I think it looks better with the colourful inside and the plain chocolate outside. Still really squishable, feels really nice to squish. In the end, I'm really glad I decided to rescue this poor abandoned squishy and finish the makeover. And I'm just really pleased with how it turned out. And it was actually quite simple to do as well. So that's it from me. More squishy makeovers on the way. And it's bye from me, Squishy Exclusive. Bye.